Well, hello there and welcome to another training module. In this nugget, I'll be showing you on how to install a front-end theme in Odoo. Let's get started. Well, Odoo has a very interesting front-end that allows you to host a website where you can, you can sell products. Customers can actually interact with your back-end CRM by just clicking on your website URL. An example of my distro is this website here. And you can tell I have events, which I have created in my events module. I have the shop, which pulls information from my CRM. I also have other pages that I have integrated. Well, assuming I don't like this theme here, how can I change it? So some people will customize this from the back end just navigating into you know the website module back end and edit directly using the edit option um, up here change the banners you know change the text if you want to incorporate a call to action somewhere you can drag and drop just to make sure the call to action shows up uh, among many other templates if you look at this very carefully it's uh, it's very simple for you to use so that is one way of just editing the template, but I may want to change the template completely. So I'll discard those edits and navigate back into my application options. So click back into my home area, click on apps. And then from the app section, I will select themes. I'll click on enter. This one's but this is okay. Uh, it's supposed to be a theme. So I only have two themes here that I don't really want to use them. So the very best thing I can do is to navigate to download my themes from the Odo application center. So I'll navigate into my Odo application center. And here, there's a number of things. So to get here, you'll uh, enter in your URL, apps.odo.com, and select apps. I select all of them, and you can tell we have a variety of things that you can use in your Odo, depending on your nature. Uh, I might decide to um, choose by category and say I want a productivity theme. Then it will filter along and give me all the themes that are related to productivity. And so select and say, I just want to create a point of sale. I want, just want to do my website. And that's where we get all this. So from the website option, uh, we have hotel, we have shops, we have cloud computing, we have Shopify like, and many others that you can use. Some of these modules are actually paid for. For example, this is paid for, this is paid for, this is paid for. I can also select free options up here so I can filter if there exist anywhere, any that I can select to be my free option. Uh, I'll scroll down and I want to shop. So just try and see if I, I can get one that is related to uh, a shop is website coming soon. I'll click on next just to see if I, I can get anything that is related to uh, selling. I can type here shop in the search area. Uh, and oh, right here. Some of them are here for the shop, but again, they're not that free. So I just filter more. To see if I'll get a free one. You know, that's why people should not be getting free stuff. You don't really have much options, don't you? So, uh, so I'll pick this website sale B two B just to see if um, that's the best for me. I download for version twelve. Mine is version sixteen, so. This might not work. Hopefully, on my site. Let me find that. 
15, correct. So I'll pick that. Same. It will download into my computer. Once it has downloaded into my computer, I'll get back into my module section. Then I'll select import module. It's called website send cloud. I'll then select the module from my downloads and select import. So once the theme has already installed, to navigate directly into the site section. And from here, I can select my website. And there is a new option here. I can add more details into my theme. For example, I can add a page, enter the name of the page, and create. So I navigate into the custom option and uh, select theme. You can change the theme color preset that are already here. I can also switch a theme down here. And I'll say, yeah, it's okay if there's uh, an existing theme. I really, really want to change that. So from the theme options that show up here, I can decide to select one of my choice, probably this corporate and say, okay, use this theme. So the site will take a few minutes to build the theme again. Remember, whenever you install a new theme, the site has to refix that within your existing template. So it doesn't lose anything, it will take a few moments and your site will be up. Once it's complete, here we go. This is our new site and you can tell how it looks like. Hmm, not bad. But remember, you can also go back to the theme section and um, scroll to the bottom where we have the switch theme and select the theme of your choice. It's not limited per se depending on this kind of business and how you would want your theme to just appear on your site. Well, that is how we install the front-end themes when we're working in Odoo. See you in the next nugget.